and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well. This is Vlogmas number four. I have been feeling very festive as of lately and it's pretty dark and dreary out, a little bit chilly, so I thought it would be the perfect day to go to the bookstores and find some books that I've been looking for, maybe some other extra goodies if I can. <laughs> but before we get too far into the video, this video is sponsored by Book of the Month. <laughs> for those of you who aren't familiar with Book of the Month, they are a super popular and fast growing book service for readers like you and I. I love Book of the Month and have been using them for years now. If you guys saw my recent bookshelf tour, you will see my little collection. They have the most beautiful books and I genuinely love the company so much. Their main mission is to promote new and emerging authors and help readers find new authors and books that they love. Their team vets hundreds of books each month and gives readers their choice from a curated selection of new and early release titles. That allows you to spend more time reading and less time researching. I love Book of the Month's risk-free skip policy, which allows you to skip any month, any time, at no charge to you. Plus, they have the best prices for new release hardcover fiction books. You will find the link in the description and you can get your first book for only $5 using the code JOLLY. I really loved Book of the Month selection this month. I think they have some really great picks, but there was two of them that really stuck out for me. The first one being The Holiday Swap by Maggie Knox. This is about two twins who decide to switch places during the holiday season like they used to do when they were kids. They're having a particularly rough time in each of their lives, so they decide to switch places. In enters a rugged firefighter named Jake and a physician's assistant named Miguel. Sounds so cute and I'm really excited to read this one, this little holiday romance. Also super festive cover so definitely want to pick this little cozy read up soon. And the next one that caught my eye is A History of Wild Places by Shay Earnshaw. I'm a big fan of Shay Earnshaw. I've read two of her books in the past and adored them but this is a little bit different of a genre than the other two that I've read. This is a mystery thriller. This is about a search for a missing woman who was last seen in an ice isolated forest town with lots of secrets. It sounds so good and you guys know I've been getting into mystery thrillers lately. This sounds like the perfect wintry mystery thriller so very excited and again I love Shay Aaron Shaw so doubly excited to pick this one up. I think that book of the month would make a great gift for any of your loved ones who are readers or for yourself. Again if you're wanting to pick up any of these titles the code is JOLLY. Thank you to book of the month for sponsoring today's video. Let's get into it. I'm sure you guys have noticed that I have been posting vlogmas every other day. This is harder than I expected, let me tell you. It's a lot of work to come up with concepts, film them, and then edit them. And for those of you that don't know, I am a perfectionist to the extreme. Like, I am such a perfectionist. And I'm having to dial that back a little bit, which is good. It's good for me to do that. But it's also still difficult because I do want to be proud of every single video that I'm giving to you guys, regardless of if it's Vlogmas or not. I, I want to look back and really enjoy the videos that I am giving to you guys. So yes, uh, every other day has been kind of what has been happening with Vlogmas. Although this week I will be putting out two videos in a row, so I'm going to be putting out this video and then tomorrow you guys will see a recent reads video which i'm very excited to share because i haven't shared with you guys very many books that i've been reading lately so i thought that would be a fun one to share with you guys for this video we're getting a little ahead of ourselves <laughs> i am going to be going to some bookstores winter time is one of my favorite times to go to the bookstore there's something about going to the bookstores during the winter months that is so special and magical and I just love it so much. I'm gonna be scouting for some specific books, The Christmas Bookstore and Green Glass House. Those are the two that I am really looking for. We're just gonna kind of see what we can find. One of the bookstores we're going to is a used bookstore so I'm hoping that there'll be some beautiful books that I can pick up. I'm also kind of looking for like gifty stuff too if I can find anything for anyone for Christmas. I'm gonna be starting with the used bookstore and then there's two local bookstores that I want to go to and lastly we'll go to Barnes & Noble. So that is the plan for today and I decided to dress a little bit dark academia because I just love I don't know there's something about dressing dark academia and going to bookstores that feels like you're in a movie and that's what I want for my life I want to feel like I'm the main character of my life 
<laughs> anyways um but yeah that's the plan for today that is all for right now so i got my handy dandy notebook <laughs> Sorry, just reminding me of Blue's Clues, and I haven't watched Blue's Clues in forever, but my handy dandy notebook. We are looking for Blue's Clues. We are looking for Blue's Clues. See, you're really cool. Yeah. What are you doing? <laughs> I grab my handy dandy notebook, and that's what they say in Blue's Clues. Yeah. And I thought that was really funny, so I was watching Blue's Clues. Oh, <laughs> Let's go. bookstore this is the used bookstore it's called books for you I've only been here once before and I really liked it I haven't been here actually and since I've the when I first moved here that was the last time that I was here so I'm really excited uh, hopefully there'll be some like really beautiful classics that's kind of what I'm going in for but again my mind's open to anything so let's get on in here uh, I'm really excited oh my gosh I love book shopping so much <laughs> bookstore at number two but I actually did have pretty good luck with the used bookstore so I will share all of the books that I find at the very end of this video so don't worry but I'm really happy with some of the books that I found now we are at Poor Richards which is downtown Colorado Springs I really like this bookstore I haven't been here in a while as well but it's in a really cool part of downtown Colorado Springs. There's a gift, kind of like a gifty store connected to it, a toy store and a pizza shop. At least there used to be. So hopefully there still is because I really want a slice of pizza. So that's what we're gonna do next. Get some pizza and look at some more books. Uh, hopefully they'll have some good ones, but yes, let's go. <laughs> the trees will bloom and ice will
bit different. My battery died. <laughs> so great. I didn't even like, I just charged it this morning. So I thought for sure it would last all day, but now I know that I need to bring extra batteries just in case if I do these outings like this. But we are now at Barnes and Noble. I got some goodies from poor Richards, which I will show you again when I get home. This is actually, I think gonna be the last place I go because <laughs> I am tired. It's actually like four, it's four o'clock. So the sun's starting to go down. I think this, we're only gonna do three bookstores today, which honestly is probably better because I've already spent a little bit of money. But yes, I have a gift card to here that my wonderful friend Gavin gave me. So Gavin, if you're watching this, I'm using your gift card in this video. Thank you so much. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm gonna go inside and hopefully find the two books that I'm looking for. I have not found them yet at the other places, but let's go. Our final bookstore. Who I call myself today In this world of illusions Didn't dare to sing my name That was when you came along And I don't We are back and it's warm and toasty in here starting the sun is setting i know it doesn't look like it <laughs> and i had such a good time at the bookstore especially at poor richards it was so fun i'm usually really anxious when it comes to social situations especially if i'm having to film i'm not very good at, in those types of situations <laughs> but it was really nice to step outside of my comfort zone and do something that i wasn't comfortable with and also usually i like going places with people so going somewhere by myself and filming, it was just, it was an adventure for me, but I really enjoyed it. And I want to definitely do that again in the future. I know this video I feel like didn't turn out exactly how I wanted, <laughs> but like I said at the beginning, I'm really trying to not be as much of a perfectionist as I usually am, but I do want to film another video like this in the future, going to different bookstores, maybe even going to ones in different states or cities. Definitely, I want to do one in Denver. So yeah, and hopefully the more that I do it, the more that I'll feel comfortable with it. I just loved filming this and I had such a good time. I'm gonna take off this coat because I'm hot. Also, I am going to get a cup of tea really quick because that sounds delicious. So I'll be right back. Your arms have carried me for miles. Here's where I belong. is called Sleigh Ride from David's Tea. It is my favorite holiday tea. Oh my goodness, it is delicious. It's warm and creamy, but also has like a little bit of maybe like berry in it or something. I don't know, and it's red. It's the most delicious tea ever. I love it so much. <laughs> I'm gonna let it cool though, because it's pretty hot. And I'm gonna show you all of the books that I got from my adventure today. Let's start with a used bookstore and I'm gonna go in the order that I found them. So used bookstore shopping kind of reminds me of thrifting. Sometimes you go and you don't find anything and sometimes you luck out and find everything that you're wanting. I feel like every single time that I go to a used bookstore, I never find what I expect to find. And this is exactly how it went this time as well. So the first one I found is Lord of the Rings. This is The Two Towers, the second book in the series and I am so excited that I found this book like it is beautiful such a beautiful copy I love the colors in it they're so bright and poppy and I've never seen an edition like this before I really want to collect different versions 
of Lord of the Rings since it is one of my favorite series and I think that the covers of these are just beautiful so I'm really happy that I found this one. It is definitely used but I feel like it's the best kind of used. It's not you know torn up the cover is actually pr in pretty good condition the next one that i found is cujo by stephen king i love stephen king's like original or maybe not original but older copies of books like the font of this is just perfection it has a picture of the snarling dog face and i'm so excited that i have this copy also whoever had this book they put a plastic um, cover over the original dust jacket, so it's in like really nice condition. There's a, some tears on the edges, but I'm really glad that they put this plastic cover over it because it's just so nice. I would love to have more of these types of editions of Stephen King's books. The only ones that I have currently are new. I would love to collect more older editions because I just think they're way superior to the new ones. This also has a big giant uh, Stephen King face on the back, <laughs> which I think is funny. But yes, very excited to have this one too. The final book that I found from the used bookstore is Tales of Norse Mythology. This is an illustrated edition. Edition. This originally was published in 1895 and it was titled a different title. This new compilation was published in 2018 so this is a newer book and originally when I saw the cover I was like oh I probably am not gonna get this because it's kind of boring. <laughs> Flipping to the inside of this book it is so cool and so pretty. It has some really beautiful illustrations and the pages have this really cool border on them as well. Also the inside cover is illustrated. It's just the bo the outside is not great but the inside was beautiful i definitely think i'll get some use out of this you guys know if you've been watching my channel for a while you'll know how much that i love norse mythology it's part of my heritage and it's something that i love reading about the next place i went was poor richards i never realized that they also have used books at this bookstore which was really cool i, I definitely want to go back and search for some used books i only found new ones uh, mostly because i didn't know what <laughs> what i was doing i didn't know that that they had used ones until I was already there. I also found some cute little gifts. So I'm gonna share with you the gifts that I found first. It's only a few, only like three. <laughs> And that is a little tea towel. It says the journey of life is sweeter when traveled with a dog and the print is so cool. It's like, it's definitely vintage looking and I love the old car and the doggies all sitting in the car. It's so cute and I think it's just, I don't know, the sweetest little tea towel. <laughs> I also found another tea towel. I don't know if it was the way that they were displayed or what, but I was so drawn to their tea towels and that's not usually something that I look for, but I found this really cute fungi tea towel which honestly i feel like you could frame and hang it up i just think it's such a cool print and it's really big um so yeah either frame it or hang it on one of those little wooden hanger thingies but i feel like on a wall this might look really cool so that was my next one this next candle which is called north star by the brand Illume or lumi um, these are so pretty. They have this really cool tin outer shell and then on the inside they have the candle which has a really beautiful print on the tin. I liked all of them but I really really liked this North Sky one. It has really beautiful constellations and hills with trees on them and I love the smell of this candle. It reminds me of a scent from anthropology. I used to work at anthropology. I worked there for such a long time like eight years <laughs> so i'm very familiar with their candle scents and this one smells a lot like one of their candles there but i think it's just the most beautiful little candle and definitely a little special one too okay now moving on to the three books that i found there these are all pretty christmasy i think so the first one i found was christmas by the book by Anne Marie Ryan. The reason that I got this was because I could not find the Christmas bookstore, so I decided to get this one instead. This is about Nora and Simon, who run a really beautiful old bookstore in a British village, and they've owned this bookstore for 30 years, but times are tough, and this holiday season is going to determine the fate of their bookstore. The next one I found is Letters from Father Christmas. 
I don't know about you guys, but I did not realize that Tolkien did this. So every December, a letter addressed from the North Pole to Tolkien's children would arrive in the mailbox, and these letters were written by Father Christmas. They told wonderful tales of the North Pole and everyday life at the North Pole. There was also colored illustrations that were included in these letters. So this book is all of the letters and the illustrations that Tolkien's kids received during Christmas time every year. How special is that? Isn't that so special? I'm sure that Tolkien's children just cherished those letters, especially as they grew up. And it's definitely part of Tolkien's life that I never knew about and I think it's just so cool so yes the last book that I found was Russian tale I absolutely love folk tales myths uh, fairy tales all of it those are some of my favorite things to read so I was really excited to find this Russian one I would love to have a collection of a bunch of different cultures folk tales and fairy tales in book form I would love that I definitely plan on collecting more books like this in the future you guys have seen I have Norse and Greek mythology but I would love to have as many cultures as I can <laughs> I think it shows a lot about the way that people lived and their point of view of things so I'm really excited to have this one and it's beautiful also just looks super Christmassy on the inside as well and I feel like this would be such a pretty book to have out during the Christmas season so yeah very excited to find this one definitely a book that I was not expecting to find at all the last place that I went was Barnes & Noble and I didn't find anything there unfortunately which is a surprise because Barnes & Noble is usually a place that I walk out with like seven books but I am trying to be really picky about the books that I do pick up I want to make sure that they're ones that I really want to read and not just ones that I see everyone talking about so I was pretty sad that they didn't have either of the books that I was looking for but yeah those are all of the things that I got for my little adventure thank you so much for joining me I had so much fun I hope you guys are doing well and thank you so much for watching I will see you in my next video Here's a rabbit